Hi Violet here. I bought this sewing machine fabric panel at a sewing store a few years ago and I finally made it into a wall quilt and um, I did some machine stitching on it and some hand stitching but this stitch here is uh, one of the ones on my sewing machine. It almost looks like a hand stitch. And then I stitched around different places. I sewed some buttons on where the flowers were. Around the little bird. And it's uh, right above my sewing machine table. So I put it onto the ceiling, the slope ceiling, in front of my sewing machines. And I also reused or repurposed um, vintage wooden sewing box to hold all my different threads. I took the legs off it and I made legs to hold up the end parts. The legs are made out of wood spools on a, on a dowel so to give them support. And a lot of these are embroidery threads. I haven't even opened a lot of them but I organized my sewing room and put the wall panel up on above. There's a few of my sewing machines. I have kind of a collection of sewing machines, but this is my favorite one here. It's a newer one, and I love it that it has a button to start you sewing, so you don't have to use the uh, foot pedal and then back stitch and then raise the needle. I also have uh, two sergers. Um, and lots of materials and things all. I'm still organizing, but on the other side I have my knitting machine and several other knitting machines. And there's my dress, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> you know, you can see. And then here the sun is shining in, but I've got a tower. Oh, there's some little vintage toy soy machines and a singer. Uh, a tin plate, but my uh, my threads, my regular older threads are all down in this series of plastic bins and there's zippers and all kinds of things there. And over here by my window, I have my, my one of my favorite older machines. It's a Kenmore. And what I'm working on now is I'm doing these rope baskets. And you just go round and round your sewing machine and I'll just show you one. Mm -hmm. That's my hand. This is one that's uh, finished. Although I have found a way to make a handle or and I'm going to put a handle or something. I might on this one although it can be fine just plain. But to really need it I got a really good deal on this clothesline rope. And it's kind of fun. I'm going to uh, make a few for presents. And I'm also working on the bag that's going to hold the fabric book I showed last time. So that'll be my next video. So thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, and um, have a good day. I'm, it's spring here. So I'm enjoying the warmer weather. We got lots of snow to get rid of. But that's my sewing area and that's a chair that I redid. I got this chair at the thrift store and I recovered it. And then I also made a matching little ironing board cover with the same fabric. And I also made a ham. And this is not the kind of ham you eat. <laughs> so that it all matches for pressing things. So that's my little sewing area. It's nice up here. I like to, it's very peaceful. I used a blue binding around there. I put it on Facebook and asked people to pick which fabric to go around the edge. And people picked the, the blue spool fabric. So thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.